Complete the equation below for the decay of polonium. The key here is that the equation should be balanced on both sides. We are starting with polonium and we have got the mass number 210 and the atomic number 84. These will be the same on the right hand side when you add the mass numbers of the two products it should give 210 and the atomic numbers should add to 84. We can start with the alpha particle because um, we wouldn't necessarily know the mass and atomic numbers of the lead which, uh, which is there but we should be uh, remembering what the mass number and the proton number for an alpha particle is and they are 2 and 4 which tells you that the alpha particle has two protons and two more neutrons so giving a total mass of 4 then we can write down what lead has using the fact that 2 plus the number for the lead should give you 84 so that's 82 and then the mass would be 206 we are then asked to state why the lead nuclei would recoil from and uh, from the alpha particles emitted during the decay so this is telling that if we start with a, with a polonium nucleus and there is the decay, the result would be that we have an alpha particle, say going in one direction, the lead nucleus would be going in the other direction. So they um, the nuclei would recoil. Well, the reason for this is for conservation of momentum. Suppose the polonium nucleus starts stationary, there is zero momentum in total. Well, if the alpha particle is going in one direction, there is a there is some momentum of that. There must be the same momentum in the opposite direction so that the sum is uh, zero as uh, before the reaction which means the lead nuclei needs to recoil.